Hi, today I'm going to be talking about IG's API and how to get real-time uh, market data. Now one thing worth bearing in mind is that IG doesn't offer real-time data for st stocks listed off exchanges. So stock list is listed off the LSE, NASDAQ and so on. All they offer is instruments that are already public knowledge and their public data is accessible their market data that's what they offer so forex the, in uh, the indices and cryptos they offer that in real-time data so yeah let's get started so we have a little script here we're well, not script an algorithm that I wrote and you can see we're using this epic code one good way or one easy way to get epic codes is just to right click on an instrument on IG's portal do that and then you can get the epic code from the ending there it's a simpler way to do it. Yeah, so we're getting into here. Essentially, I wrote this function. It's just kind of a high level function. And you can see we're getting the nitty gritty here. So what we're doing, so that the way streaming works here is you have subscriptions and you then assign these subscriptions with a number of epics listed in them and connect to them and then you state what data you want to get from them assign that to the subscription and then whenever there's an event change it catches it so what we're doing here is if our we're basically dividing if our instruments are larger than 30 we divide them into units of 30 and assign them to a new subscription we're below here we're making sure that our number of subscriptions are below 38 um, this is because any subscriptions above 40 will basically have your account banned by IG. Now I had, I gave myself a two buffer because I was getting these two other subscriptions that you could get. So you could subscribe by your position management, so you can get positions by subscription, and you could get your account info, for example, how much your balance was via subscription. But I had trouble getting them started, so I just left this as it was. So we check whether we're below 38, of course we are, as we are at one. We then initialize connection. I've talked about the initialize function I built before. Um, essentially, you have a file listed with API keys. Grab one, hope it works. If it doesn't, go back and grab another one. Um, we then do these. Uh, we then get the IG stream service object, assign our IG service object into that. Uh, yeah, so we do that. We then create the service. We then get an account number, which which that is referenced to our either our, I, our spread betting account or our CFD account. We then connect, and then we break out. Here we're just dividing. <coughs> we 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 basically divide our 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 data, so our main list, into sublists that are maximum size of 30 and here we essentially create our subscription okay here what we're doing is we're creating a copy of the list so let's say of our list that's capped at 30 we basically bring that list in we create a copy of that list we assign an l1 string and a colon in front of that in front of each epic item so it looks something like this like that we assign these details to that so basically what details we want to get back from the from IG so that would be these details um, we then add an event list now we're saying once you, when you update save the details to this function here which is here um, subscription prices and return this object we return the object here and subscribe to it so here you can see an updates occurred so we have this object called item update we have a name of this and we have the update which is a map or a dictionary of this
uh, you can see we've got the details which are basically what we stated above those details are related here so we're basically putting the item name which is the L1 thing um, yeah you can see L1 here we're stripping that from the, that name putting it here saving it in our custom data map and we're basically getting all the numerical values from it so if oh, okay we were just we were converting all the numerical values to a float because last time when I was doing it some values were, were assigned as an integer which was basically throwing my code off and elsewhere so yeah we basically if I can find my mouse we're basically checking if the data set was larger than 20 because this updates like a few couple of times every second so every time we're saving the data I didn't want my memory or my machine to slow down which is going to slow down the execution of the, the algorithm so I made a special uh, section here that essentially said that if I get the latest 20 items and remove the rest from the list yeah so this function here is basically from the IG uh, github project I downloaded so I'm essentially just adding functions to that um, to that project okay so yeah you can see it constantly updates and if we go back to our main thread okay you can see updates there if we jump back into just before we go there so yeah you can see we append that that data to data map we are doing the cutoff thing I spoke of before and then we're grabbing the data here so we get market data we're then checking the epic matches we're then getting the very latest value from that variable we're saving data to and that returns the data route So, yeah, so get quote data from there, essentially getting it from here, which we were speaking about before. And then you can see that we're just printing out the data. Right. So that's essentially how you grab uh, real-time market data. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for watching.